Almost three years ago, Grand Mountain Adventure was released as an open world skin game. Since then, players improved greatly at the game, finding new techniques altogether. I joined this game's community in February 2021, and since then, I improved quite a lot at the game. Before we dive into it, I want to inform that this will be a small series of video. In this one, I will go over what I think are the three essential skills of the game. However, in the second one, I will teach you more advanced tips and tricks to improve further. And finally, in the third video, I will go over how you can obtain a world record yourself. But anyway, on to the tips we go. The best way you can gain time on a track is by doing what is known as a combo boost. This may be a frightening word at first, but in reality, it's really simple. When you do a simple trick, such as a backflip, your player will gain speed when landing. However, combining multiple tricks will result in a higher speed boost. This is something you have to master, as it's used on almost every trick. But what tricks should I use, you may ask? Well, it depends on your equipment. For those who haven't purchased the full game, and only have carving skis and snowballs, well, they can't go backwards. If this is your case, the best way you can do it is by doing a rodeo, then a 180. This way, when you land, your player will face the right direction. Those who bought the full game, however, can do a much faster trick combo. It doesn't give extra speed on landing, but it's faster to execute, making it easier to pull off in little jumps. You simply have to start doing a land call, stop it halfway through, and start making a backflip. It sounds complicated, but trust me, it really isn't. As you've seen, I only moved one finger to switch from Lincoln to backflip. Try it yourself. If you don't see any speed improvement when doing it yourself, you might be trying to do it a bit too fast. When doing the Lincoln, wait until your character has their head pointing towards the ground. Then, pull up your finger as I did in the example. If you're practicing, you'll feel when is the right time to pull up. There is a way to make an even faster combo boost, but we'll keep that for the next video, so stay tuned! In addition to that, we have sharp turns. I won't go too deep into routing in this video, but one thing you have to know is, in general, when it comes to turn, the sharper, the better. To get sharper turns, just drag the pole towards where you want to turn. The turn will be sharper. This is the core of trick challenges. Without combining tricks, you won't get far, to be honest. Repeating the same trick over and over won't give you a score multiplier. Four backflip will give you a total of 4k points, roughly. Whereas doing a backflip, plus a link on, plus a 180, and plus a rodeo, will give you almost 9k points, for the same jump. This is because doing multiple tricks increase the multiplier of your tricks. Each tricks, backflip, link on, 180s and rodeos, add 0.5 to the multiplier. But if you do the same trick again, for example, a backflip plus a 180 plus another backflip well the second backflip will only give you a 0.3 multiplier if you do it once again it will only give you a 0.2 multiplier and so on one of the other things you have to learn is when to execute the tricks as we've seen before with the combo boost doing tricks all the way is not recommended what you want to do is when a trick appears on your screen, 
start doing another trick, and so on. Here is some of the best combo you can do. Ling Kong and a backflip. Ling Kong and a backflip plus a 180. Ling Kong plus a backflip plus a 180. And a rodeo. These four is what I use all the time. To practice, I recommend you going to Bane Alig's biggest jump. You'll have plenty of time to try out things for yourself. As stupid as it might seem, slapping NPC might be the easiest way to gain speed. But at the same time, it's not well known by the beginners. As I mentioned previously, it's really easy. All you have to do is get near enough to an NPC, skier, a kid, an animal, or even snow bikes, and double tap on one of your pool, preferably on the NPC side. You will have a better chance of slapping them. This trick can be combined with a combo boost for an even greater speed boost. And with that, we're done. These tips are the basic way to get good at the game. It won't be like a magic spell. Practicing is what will make you better, but knowing these tips will help you. If you need any specific help, you can join the Ground Mountain Adventure official Discord server and ask for help. Other member or I will answer your questions. If those were obvious to you, awesome! You already know the game pretty well. In that case, you might want to subscribe to my channel to get notified whenever I upload the next video, which will be on more advanced tips. I hope you had a wonderful day and I see you next video. Goodbye.